The Magellanic Clouds, which consists of a pair of galaxies, a more massive one and a less massive one that we creatively call the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Small Magellanic Cloud, are the closest extragalactic system interacting in some way with the Milky Way and they have somewhat lower abundances of heavy metals than the Milky Way. They are the nearest sizable neighbor galaxies to the Milky Way. And what I mean by sizable is there are some very small ones, but the Magellanic Clouds are the closest ones which are making stars and have some substructure and are participating in processes that, that normal galaxies, normal sized galaxies would participate in. We believe, based on fairly recent work, that the large and small Magellanic Cloud are falling in from intergalactic space, so falling towards the Milky Way for the first time. There's a large stream of atomic hydrogen which appears to be trailing behind them across a large part of the sky. And so their orbits were measured with more precise astrometry, you can run the orbit backwards in time and see that it goes out into intergalactic space. And we can actually trace the star formation history of the Magellanic Clouds and look at times in their history, as one such time was a few hundred million years ago, where the rate of forming new stars was much higher than it is now, or, or there was a peak in that rate of forming new stars. And that matches with an interaction, a close passage of the small and large cloud. So we can go back in time and track how they interacted with each other, but we don't think they've interacted repeatedly with us. They've been together longer than they've been with us. Most of the universe is hydrogen and helium, but hydrogen and helium are not all that good at cooling, at radiating energy. And so if gas in galaxies gets warm, it's actually the trace heavy elements. They're few in number, but they dominate the re-radiation of that energy and the cooling of the galaxy, or the cooling of parts of the galaxy at least, and condensing and making stars, for example, and evolving. So we expect that when there's quite a bit less of those heavy elements, then that will affect the structure of molecular clouds, how they collapse, how they cool, how they make stars. So we want to study all these things in environment. This is the nearest such environment that's a bit different, has a different range of physical conditions from the Milky Way.